Well, lots of news. It looks like the VNR homestead stuff uh, over in Georgia is off the table because I found 42 acres in east in western South Carolina uh, that seems pretty ideal, and I there was somebody else that already made an offer, so well. I made an offer too, and I won. So, the videos you're about to see were taken before I knew I was actually getting it, but yeah, this is my stuff, and hopefully within the next month, we'll close on it, and all I've like figured out to call it's like land around the church, because it covers like three sides of a church wraps around it so but check out the video this give you a little bit of idea what the land looks like I'm up in the middle of the night I've been having a terrible time headaches and everything else stressing over this stuff but a lot of it's because I'm terribly excited hope you're excited too okay we're through the gate I just closed the gate now we're driving on the road it's First, the shorter road that goes back in there on the right side of the church. As if you're looking at the front of the church. This is the one place I don't like in the road. You can see kind of ruts and looks like a good place to get stuck. But it's not too bad to get through. And I might be able to fix it just by hitting better ditches on both sides, I think. The rest of the road is very good. Doesn't look like it even needs gravel. Uh, get out here. This is a nice little ride out here this way. And you get down to an intersection here. Uh, this intersection. If I go forward, it goes down to a little cul-de-sac, well, flattened out area. It looks like maybe someone was going to put a building there or something. It's a nice, cute little area. I mean, it's good. Some of my photos on Facebook show that, but we're going to go this way because we didn't walk down this way too terribly far. This is a longer road on the property, and it's in good shape, too. Uh, there is a big ditch down on the far end when you get close to that fence I showed you on the opposite side of the church from the other entrance but other than that it looks pretty good uh, and that, I'm not sure what that box is up there it's, uh, I'm assuming it's got something to do with honey but we'd Scooby's about to get out and walk around here and maybe we'll video a little bit more I'm gonna check this little box out see what it is but yes it looks pretty good but let's let the puppy out now a little ditch on the side of the road I'm getting off to where that box thing looking looking thing is it actually looks like it's cloth and I'm assuming this is some kind of metal stand for hunters. Uh, don't really care nothing about hunting. Scooby's going off on one of these little side roads into the woods. There's a whole mess of these, which makes it kind of nice to be able to get back in here. But yeah, it's the mystery behind the stand solved. It's some kind of hunting tree stand, metal frame. Uh, so I find that interesting. It's, it's actually, I see up there now, it's got a chair in it. Here I've got out in the woods. To, I mean, some of these trees must be close to 50 feet tall. I mean, none of them are more than, look, it looks like about 10 inches in diameter. That's the big ones. Most of them look more like you know, three, four inches. Uh, some of them not even that. But 
think this is a pretty good general idea of what the woods are like. Not a huge amount of woods. I mean, probably not in the length of a football field to the back of the property, but that's okay. Still 42 acres. Scooby, as you can see, you can see him. He's out there enjoying it. And it would be very easy to clear out with some trails. Here's a, looks like some tr little bit of trees are blown down here. This would be an obvious place to come in and clean something up and cut down the fallen stuff. But it looks very good to me. Oh. Um, I'm going to go walk around and see if I see anything else unique. Here's a little spot where I find a little bit of trash. It's not much. And this is actually a good place, I think, for a house. Because the trees don't look terribly huge here. It's on top of a hill. Where the truck's parked is way back up there on top of that last hill around the corner. Uh, it'd just be a nice little place for a house here because it's a hill a hill on both sides you go to this side there's hill too I kind of like it and yeah the pine trees out here next to the road are, are all little and probably need to be thinned out a little bit as some of them get bigger but I like it works for me it's interesting how this is all smoothed out i got a feeling somebody had plans of making this into a subdivision and for whatever reason the plans changed but i like it me and scooby's gonna walk around just a little bit more then we're gonna get out of here talk to you in a little bit there scooby just came out from that big ditch uh, I really didn't realize how big I drove past it in the truck uh, the last time I was here. But that sucker's got to be nearly, I don't know, five foot deep. That's something else that gives you an idea where the water is eroded what kind of land we're talking about here rocks but not real rocky Scooby seemed to like it down in there too crazy puppy whoa all those things sticking up I didn't realize it I thought it was dirt that's rock. These are all just big boulders. All look like quartz. Which is beautiful looking. Don't know what I'd do with them, but... Hmm, they're there. We're getting up to the top of the next hill. The last hill I was on was way back up there. This is probably the biggest hill. And it's heading up towards the road where the other entrance they've got black, uh, blocked off is. I think I would block it off, keep it blocking it off, and maybe put an earthen berm there, there or something to kind of block some of the road noise. Uh, you can hear road noise out here, but it's very infrequent. The road just hasn't got that much traffic. Biggest 
chunks of quartz I ever seen. I don't know if you could figure out a way to use quartz as building material. Well, we got it here. One great thing about coming to sea land is Scooby enjoys it so much. This hill just doesn't seem like it'll ever end. But it's just a little ways around. I think we'll run into the road. Sure seems short, shorter when I drove my truck out here, but it just shows you this land's big enough to have a little privacy. This might be another good place for a house that's up on the hill nice area that's kind of not that many trees Scooby's having fun Big old trees there. And now I can see that fence that ends the property out here next to the road. Now obviously we could do something with the sound just by planting trees out here wall it off but as you can see there's not anything passing by and just a beautiful view nice woodsy area Scooby come on come on puppy well, I'm going to head back to the truck. Don't worry about Scoob. He'll turn around in just a second. But we'll see you later. Hope you enjoy this tour of the land. It's, I think this is what I want. Take it easy. Bye-bye. We're on our way out. Scooby wasn't in any hurry to get in the truck. So, guess what's happening? Hope you can see that out there. Somewhere out there is Scooby following along the truck. Don't leave me. Don't leave me. He's getting him some exercise. We would never leave Scooby. But I was going to go up here and take one more look at the one place where the road's a little nasty and check that area out so I figure we'll get Scooby in when we get out there yeah I gave him a chance to get in the truck first and he's like no I want to walk so he gets to walk and he just follows right along we go nice and slow we ain't gonna run over, over our own puppy It's a nice little turn here. Kind of gives it even more privacy to it back here. Because this is the short road we're on that I came in on. And right in here ought to be that place that's kind of washed out. And yeah, we're going to just 
take a look at this. And we'll load up the puppy too. There's the gate to get out of here right on down there. And the puppy comes a running. It. It's a good puppy. It looks on both sides of this like it's pretty good drop off. Right? It's kind of a ditch there. I was thinking maybe making ditches on both sides would help. But I think this is where the water has to find a way to go through. But I don't ha have any problem getting through here in my truck. There, Scooby just keeps wanting to walk. He just loves it out here. But fortunately, we got to go on back. We're going to go up there. I guess I'll drive up to the gate and then I'll load him up. But yes, Scooby likes.